Hey guys, this is Max, and we're back with Battle Code 2016. I have a story to tell today. It's about your friend Jeff the Guard. There he is. He's just trying to get to work like everybody else, but he saw his friend was in the way and he ended up going to the left. And he saw a bunch of friends still in the way and they finally got out of the way, so he went there. But then he saw that there was a blockage and maybe that's why they weren't moving anywhere. So then he went this way and he went to the right. And again, his friends were kind of in the way and he was in yet another pocket. Ah, oh, ah. Oh enough to frustrate anybody, even somebody who's just an artificial being. But nevertheless, like a saint, even after being trapped and manipulated into a point where he doesn't even know how to get out, he just sits there. Well, I think Fred needs a little bit of justice. He's going to get there by becoming impatient and starting to dig through the obstacle. Same thing with these Archons. They got stuck by their own men. Well, time to finally correct that. So what are we going to do? Let's make a new variable called patient. Having every robot start out patient and have a chance that they'll become impatient. When will they become impatient? Well, if you are trying to go somewhere and there's literally nothing you can do, then you should become impatient. So we'll set patient equals false. And instead of break here, we use return. So if you do actually get to move, see in here, if you do move, then you never get to patient false, so you stay patient. Where you go to move depends on whether you're patient. So if you're patient, then you'll do the usual thing. You'll look for nearby robots, you'll look for rubble, you'll look to see if you've been there before. But if you're not patient, then it looks a little different. Then in that case, you're not going to bother looking for whether you've been there before. It doesn't matter to you anymore. You don't have to store your past locations to remember them. And if you can't move, then dig. So then that's if you are obstructed by something that you need to dig. So if rc.senseRubble at the candidate location is greater than game constants dot rubble obstruction threshold. Using the game constants reference here means that if the developers change the rubble obstruction threshold, your code will still work. So it's much better than just typing in the number. And also it means you don't even have to know the number. If there are too many pieces of rubble there, then rc dot clear rubble in the candidate direction. And let's return. OK. Remember, return exits this method right away. So we won't have to execute more code. We won't have to do more loops. We'll just clear the rubble and then exit the method right away. So now we'll compile and we'll run the code. And we'll look to see if Fred gets his justice. We'll look to see if upon getting totally stuck, he decides to just have at it, and dig his way through to victory. Um, in order to help him out spiritually, I've brought my own shovel. And so if this code succeeds and he begins to dig, then I too will dig. And uh, together we will dig and stamp out injustice in this world. Um, one rubble at a time. The compiling has finished. Oh good, that awkward silence has finally ended. So now let's see if we can finally dig. This is like the fourth take of this video. I hope, I hope we can find Jeff and get him to dig. Let's just back up a moment so we can make sure that we've got Jeff in our sights here. Because I, I want to make sure we get Jeff. Is it this one? Nope, it's this guy. Okay, there's Jeff. I remember him from before. Who? I mean, I'm, yeah, you can't miss him. Oh, other people got got a little bit impatient. How about Jeff? Well, oh, Jeff didn't even get impatient this time. Imagine that. Well, you know, the world works in mysterious ways, but it's got to be said that at this point, everybody got where they're going. So 
I'm going to call that a success. I'll see you in the next video where we'll do something else that's also awesome. Dig away.